Oh, if you don't like my outfit, I don't wear it to make you like it. Hola amores, welcome to my canal. My name is Debbie Ruiz and thank you for joining me in today's video. If you are new here, um, I do a bunch of videos on sneakers, streetwear. Um, I also do bags. I do have a lot of bags that I don't talk about in my collection, so I'm also going to incorporate that more. But basically, I talk about fashion, but I really specify on sneakers and bags. So if you like that kind of content, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the like button for more videos like these. Today, I am going to do a review on my YSL Toy Lulu. So I've had this bag about 10 months now, and I can definitely definitely feel comfortable in doing like a good review on how I really feel about this bag. So I was able to get this bag brand new with box. I Everything was brand new. I think the person wore it like once or twice and decided they didn't like it. So they sold it on Poshmark and then I bought it and I got it authenticated by Poshmark Authenticate since it was over the $500 purchase. And yeah, I got it and the bag looked amazing. There was like a little dent on like the front flap, but honestly like that does not bother me <laughs> like I buy vintage bags and those have way more wear and tear than this so completely fine by me but this bag is literally so beautiful so we're just gonna get right into this bag here it is this is the bag I got the toy Lulu with the black hardware and I just love it so much the leather is so supple it's squishy it feels like a pillow I love the size of it a lot of people complain about the size, but this bag is made of 100% calf skin leather. I'm just trying to read here. Um, the dimensions for this is 7.8 inches by 5.5 by 2.9 inches. So, um, yes, this bag is just everything. Like, I absolutely love it. Now, I love that the straps are also removable. I have not removed them. And you can also make it into... Um, a wristlet which I'm not a fan of because this bag is too big for me to wear as a wristlet but yes so it has a front flap and you just and you just open it up like that and it has these two compartments now that is what a lot of people have been complaining about with this bag so sorry about the little trash in there but a lot of um, people complain about this bag is like this divider here there's like this divider sometimes prevents people from putting in the stuff that you need to i do agree like there is like a little you can a little slot that you can put stuff in there but i never use that um but if it's everything that i need to i can show you guys what all i can fit in here and what i'd be fitting but it it could potentially fit a pochette accessoire in here but you're too lazy to just take the stuff out of the pochette and put it in here like you can literally just fit it all in here and it'll be fine so you can definitely fit way more than what people think. Um, you kind of have to play Tetris with it. But um, yeah, so far so good. Like I've worn this bag a lot and I just absolutely love it. So this is the box that came with it. It's such a tiny little box. Like I can't believe like it fits in there, but it does. The dust bag right here. Love, love, love. The dust bag looks great. You can definitely tell by um, the dust bag, if it's the original one, if it is a fake bag or not. So yeah, definitely amazing. Um, came with like the cards and everything, like the person literally like never wore it. And then Poshmark gave me an authentication card. Um, so I have that in the box as well. Um, but yeah, that bag is amazing, like so beautiful. A lot of people are comparing it to like the Chanel Square Mini, I'm not sure. But, <coughs> excuse me, but I don't have a Chanel, so I don't know, but people are saying that's an alternative. I don't think it's an alternative because if I had the money to buy a Chanel Square Mini, I would, but I would also rock this. I just really like the design of this, the look of it, the easiness, you can just close it and it's, and it's there, you know? I'm so sorry, I'm wearing some crazy sweatpants, but I just want you to see, I am 5'9", and this is where it fits on my body, so. And it is just everything for me. It is the perfect length. Um, I sometimes, 
when I'm feeling um, more dress up, I crisscross these straps underneath this flap and then I wear it as a little shoulder bag situation like so and it just gives it such a cute little like shoulder bag moment obviously like when you open it it'll be a little inconvenient <laughs> but when I do that I'm literally like out not not using my bag I just have a few things in there for the for the looks so you can definitely do so much with this bag and I absolutely love, love, love it. So next I'm gonna show you guys everything I can fit in here. So I'm not gonna show you the process of me actually fitting in it. I'm just going to have it full and then show you guys and take out the items so you can see. So let's get it. All right guys, so I am back. So I have stuffed this bag and I'm going to show you um, everything that I fit in here, including my phone. Anyways, boom, you open it. And what I have in here is my key clay with my keys hanging off of it, hand sanitizer, lotion, phone, lip stuff, um, gum, and a mask. So that's basically all that I need for myself. So we're gonna take this out. I have my key clay. That fits in there perfectly. And then I have this hand sanitizer and this size lotion. So all of that kind of stuff would fit in here. And then I have my phone, which was kind of a struggle at the end to put in there. So let me take that out. My phone, it is an iPhone 11, regular size. And then I have my gum and three lip stuff. So a lot of stuff low-key does fit in here. People are over exaggerating of how much does not fit in there because it does. And then the middle flap, I put my mask. So, and that is all. Yeah, I could probably fit a little more in there, but I didn't want to stuff it too much. So that's everything that fits in there. So you can definitely fit a lot, your day-to-day -day necessities. Um, I don't know about it being an everyday bag. Like for me, it would be an everyday bag if I didn't have to sometimes carry my laptop to work. Like that would be, I don't need much at all. So this is definitely a good everyday bag. Aaron's bag, just anything bag. And then you can convert it into a night bag. You will get your return on investment. Like I'm never going to sell this. I'm keeping this forever, like passing it down to my daughter type of thing. Cause the quality is also amazing. And YSL's leather is just phenomenal. Like love their leather. This is my review on the YSL Toy Lulu with the black hardware in calfskin leather. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think of this bag. If you own this bag, if you're thinking about buying it new or pre-loved. And what websites are you looking at to buy it from? I do know that the price, the retail price of this went up. I've seen, but I saw that the retail price of this went up to $14.90. So I would definitely get this before it starts increasing even more. I got this for like $960 on Poshmark. So definitely a steal. I definitely know that you can get this bag for discounts on different websites like Farfetch or Essence or um, any other websites or Nordstrom, um, Saks, all those websites that sell this bag. You can definitely um, get coupons and discounts. So I definitely would not recommend buying it retail. If you, I mean, if you have the money, go ahead, go off sis, literally go off. But if you're waiting, for a sale or a coupon, I would definitely wait because that does happen with this bag. So definitely be on the lookout. And if you have any questions about um, buying it pre-loved or what websites that you should look at, um, I can definitely answer those questions for you down in the comments. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more content like this. And also follow me on Instagram at Deb the Cuban. But anyways, guys, thanks so much. Muchos besos.